Happy New Year, Scorpios. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is your January 2018 reading. Uh, welcome to those of you who are new, and thank you to the many of you who have come to me for weekly, monthly, and yearly readings. I greatly appreciate not only the readings, but also the feedback as to how you've allowed spirit to come into your path and to help guide the path ahead of you to make it much more easier to walk here on earth. All right, so I'm going to ask for a word of prayer, please, to start out with for those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Scorpio, dear Lord, spirit guides, and angels. A word of prayer that we can close with at the end of the reading, Scorpio. Thank you. Now, I'm not going to look at that card right now, but what I am going to do is I'm going to jump right in with the Psychic Tarot Oracle Deck by John Holland. I'm going to do a circle spread that involves career and financial energies, and we'll move into love and romance next. So, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Scorpio with clearly defined messages regarding Scorpio's life path here on earth at this time on into and through to the end of January 2018, maybe even a little further. Career and finance energies and any spiritual guidance Scorpios may need for January. Okay, so the card representing your current life path here on earth at this time is movement. There are some changes going on for some of you. Maybe some of you have left a relationship behind. Maybe something new is transpiring for you. And you've come to the point where you get to make new decisions and new choices about your future. Now, in your mental aspects position, Spirit saying now is the time to let the memories of love go out into the ocean. Let them go for now. They'll always be with you, but now is not the time to focus on memories of love tied to the past. Now, in your relationship sector, is a, a time to allow your passion to become ignited. Now, as I move forward, I'm going to combine the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck with the uh, Gateway to the Divine Tarot deck. To clarify each position, please. Dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, for those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Scorpio with clearly defined messages regarding career and financial energies available to them in the month of January 2018. Okay, wow. Okay, so we had one kind of end up falling upside down, and this is the strength card. So you may be dealing with someone who has uh, earth and, uh, I'm sorry, not earth. Uh, <coughs> pardon me, fire in their chart. Could be a Leo energy in their chart. It could be that you guys don't feel like you have the strength to move on in a new direction. And Spirit's saying, let go of the memories of love of the past. Now is a time to know, to learn new things. Because the memories of love tied to the past may have been tied to someone who had unhealthy intentions, unhealthy addictions, unhealthy issues and now in your relationship sector you're allowing yourself to uh, let your passion become ignited in whatever way that may be it could be a relation to family a relation to friends a relation to a new person but something where you're able to see how far you've come and to get excited about all that you've learned and about stepping in a new direction with that experience and knowledge now, in your creative aspects position, we've got standing your ground. So be clear about what it is you want as you move forward making these decisions. Be clear when it comes to the heartache and loss you've had to experience. Stand your ground to anybody who comes near you with this heartache once again. In the month of January 2018. Sorry if I'm saying 17. Now. In your actions position, spirit saying you will break through to the other side. You will achieve triumphant success in a brand new path. Of course, this sword has a double edge. One edge is the excitement of breaking through, and the other edge has to do with cutting away from the things that no longer serve you at this time. What may no longer serve you is someone who has an addiction, someone who has great financial blessings, someone who may have this Leo energy in their chart, someone who will no longer be able to provide you with this financial prosperity. Now, 
in your emotional aspects position, some of you are coming to the truth of a situation that a connection or contract is over. Maybe that it never even was full to begin with. But as you take control in your creative aspects position over this heartache, over movement, over moving forward, over finding passion ignited in new directions, you will start to get to the truth of a situation that spirit has been trying to guide you towards. And I think that truth is going to fulfill you about yourself. Now, subconsciously, we've got rest and relaxation. And then taking the time to manifest new beginnings, new, excite, new exciting paths in your life. Okay, this has to do with the movement, the choices, the decisions, the things that excite you. With the Empress energies at this time in January, you or someone else may be giving birth or find out that they're pregnant. You or someone else may be starting a new job, a new direction, a new creation, a new small business on the side. Whatever it is you want to give birth to with the Empress energies as a major arcana, spirit is going to help for you to manifest that for you. So in your day-to-day -day practical matters position, we've got your heart chakra lit up because you stood your ground about something and now you are jumping into your chariot, your train, plane, or automobile, and you are headed towards these new choices, these new decisions, this new enlightening path. After a time of rest and rejuvenation, maybe in the next four to six weeks, and the chariot as a major arcana is spirit's way of leading you towards success. Fulfillment, contentment, and joy. In your inner strengths position, you have the ability to plant a seed, to tend to that seed alone or with someone new, but either way to making sure that what it is you are choosing to do in a new direction, prospering. A love offer may not come in as you are beginning to prosper, but for a lot of people, I feel like this is about coming out of a year number one where we focus on who we are as an individual and what we want moving forward. Standing our ground when it comes to heartache and pain and speaking our truth. Making new decisions. And turning the inability to have that strength into the ability to have the strength. Believing in ourselves, right, Scorpios? So take what you've learned and move in a new direction and allow your passion to become ignited once again when it comes to whatever it is you're wanting to manifest. Remember to let go of memories of love tied to someone who either had an addiction or whom by which you may have been addicted to. I feel like some of you want to go back and follow your heart chakra to this person. But your inner strengths are speaking of the ability to go beyond where love may not be offered and to begin your own prosperity. It's in your actions position that as you focus on your own prosperity, you will break through and have triumphant success. You will no longer need to wait for someone else to bring in this Ten of Coins as you can turn it around and manifest great prosperity for yourself. The truth in your emotional aspects position is going to set you free. And therefore, you're going to know exactly who and what you want to allow in your path when it comes to contracts, commitments, and relationships. So in a three-card summary to my right with the same... Psychic Tarot Oracle deck, we've got the first week and a half to two weeks, speaking of things happening quickly. Something that was not built on a solid foundation is going to crumble. And there may be the energies of, well, there are, conflict and defeat. And the conflict and defeat, I believe, isn't coming so much from the emotions tied to the situation, but it's more about the concerns of financial and material changes. But Spirit's saying that as you stand strong in your foundation, as you set new goals and achievements for yourself, you will begin to stand strong and triumphantly succeed in your own path. 
and your inner strength in January is going to help for you to move forward from that which had disrupted your soul. Why? Because they're providing you with the authority energies to take control over your path now in your life. In the next two to three weeks, it may feel as though you are waiting. Remember, take the time to rest and to contemplate what it is you want to manifest in January. Know that with the waiting game energies, you have planted something and it's beginning to sprout. And sure, uh, slowly but surely, you're taking the steps towards that success. Some of you are really desiring a uh, connection with someone that is strong. It could be a financial connection. It could be an emotional connection. But Spirit's saying when they provide you with obstacles and challenges in a path, it is their way of telling you that that is not the right path for you. They're always trying to lead you towards the path of peace, joy, contentment, happiness, love, prosperity, and great health. So if you run into blockages, it's Spirit's way of telling you that you're not going in the right direction. Think about what it is that you are being drawn to at this time in January when it comes to your gut, your soul. What is it that you can do in your own path without anyone's assistance to brighten the path alone and start to make those new beginnings in your path? Spirit saying that you will have new passionate ideas and goals and with them will come the fulfillment of your wishes and with them will come victory and success. Because you are growing in the month of January spiritually with the universe card. You are climbing to a higher level. With the crown chakra, spirit saying, open up your prayers to spirit and ask for guidance in the month of January. You will be able with the fertility energies to give birth to a new project, a new idea, a new goal. And in the process of working on this new direction, you're going to be able to clearly understand your shadow side or the shadow side of someone else. And we all have one. And at some point we need to sacrifice the shadow energies that pull us down, that leave us in heartache. Spirit saying now is a time to work on a firm foundation in your own individual path. And it's going to involve some patience and some planning, but they are saying that you will triumph. So this is about standing strong in your path and thinking about who and what you want to let into your life moving forward. All right, so when it comes to love, timestamp 13 minutes and 16 seconds. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Scorpio for the month of January 2018 when it comes to love and romance energies and guidance, please. All right, so Spirit's saying that as you're moving forward, as you're not feeling as though you have the energies of the strength card available to you, you can turn that around. Make those firm decisions. Use the energies of the strength card, knowing that you deserve love and that you are lovable. Spirit's trying to tell you that Cupid's arrow is aiming right at you and that you deserve love. But it's now time to let go of the memories of love tied to someone who had some unhealthy addictions, behaviors. Now is a time to let your friends help you and support you like me. Now, in your relationship sector, we've got passion being ignited and you packing up all that you've learned and being thankful and grateful for how far you have come and contemplating which direction you're going to head into next with that knowledge. Spirit is telling you that they have heard your cry for love, whoever this is that's single, and are telling you that divine timing is at work in your love life. In your creative inspirations position, it's about standing your ground. I will not allow heartache to come into my path any longer. I will take the time to heal and to forgive someone. It may not necessarily be your parents, but someone has to be forgiven so that you can move forward in your love life. In your actions position, Spirit's saying you will break through 
and have triumphant success, not relying on anyone else, but on finding it in your own path. This is going to allow for you to free your mind from someone or something that has been occupying your mind far too much. It's time to take back control of your life. In your emotional aspects position, it's about getting to the truth of a situation and letting go of this connection. Whether it's a financial connection, a contract with a client, another business, um, maybe even a partner in love. It's about getting to the truth of the situation and understanding that your soulmate may be different than your usual type and expectations. Maybe some of you have chosen people who drink and party and have a good time when really you need to find someone who is quiet and structured. So open your heart to the new at this time. Come to the truth of what it is you want in your path when it comes to love and keep an open mind. In your subconscious, we've got rest, rejuvenation, and the Empress energies. It's about manifestation. What do you want to begin in your path that is blessed? For some of you, you're still wanting to connect to maybe this person from the past. Maybe you're not wanting to move ahead. I feel in January, you're going to have the ability to speak your truth. But know that you have the energies of the Empress to give birth to this connection, rebirth to this connection, or to walk away and give birth to a new connection. In your day-to-day -day aspects position, you've got the heart chakra lit up. So this is you going after what it is you truly want, hoping that this path will lead you to success. This is lined up with spirit telling you that you can take and make new choices, even if you don't feel strong enough, but it will require you standing your ground and healing. That may have to be done in your practical day-to-day -day matters by having an honest discussion with someone. Telling them that you deserve love. Telling them that you're willing to forgive them for they know not what they do, but clearly making a decision within yourself as to whether or not this path is the right one for you with this person. Now, in your inner strengths position, you have the ability to prosper, to start something new. Someone may not be making the offer that you thought they would. Some of you are hoping that someone is your soulmate and are maybe just in fear that they're not going to accept what you have to offer. I feel financially somebody is going to accept what you have to offer and there will be success in a new direction. But when it comes to a soulmate, you need to make sure, is what you're receiving love or not? Because you have the energies to move forward and to make new decisions and new choices, to free yourself from a situation, to create and manifest your own finances and your own beginning. So really, emotionally, it has a lot to do with coming to the truth of a situation when it comes to a connection. It has a lot to do with having a discussion when it comes to what truly blesses your heart. So in a three card su uh, summary to my left here with the same uh, Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue, the first card is saying connect with your friends Focus on any addictions you may have to a person, a place, a thing, an environment, a circumstance, a way of thinking. We are to remain independent in our path as we connect with others to learn about our own soul. So now is a time to be playful and to evaluate a magnetic attraction. In the next two to three weeks, it's time to disconnect, to go uh, into your own space, to work on something that fulfills you only without the assistance of anyone else. And to understand that there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going with someone from your past life. So again, Spirit saying, focus on career and finances as they will be a factor in your love life for the month of January. 
a commitment or, or a connection with someone will rise to a higher level if you, in the next four to six weeks, can get through the heart-to-heart -heart conversations and to the truth of the matter. Then you can release the energy tied to an ex. Then you can start to enjoy your life. Smell the roses. It's when you find contentment and joy and peace within that you are going to be most attractive. There may be time apart from someone. And the reason you're wanting to make an effort for some of you is because maybe you have children together. But Spirit is saying now is a time to love yourself first. It is your self-respect that will make you more romantically attractive. You may want passion with someone. But that someone else has a different viewpoint or perspective on the situation or connection than you do. So Spirit's saying, even though you think someone's the one, remain positive in your thinking and let go. Allow the situation to unfold naturally so a new love can come in. So January for Scorpios, it looks like you guys may be trying to let go of a very strong connection that you know, I think, deep inside is not healthy for you. And you know that now is a time to get more healthy and to open your mind to someone who treats you um, better. Yes, I just saw there's unrequited love here for sure. So some of you have to free yourself from that unrequited love. Yeah. Yeah. With the Eight of Wands, Spirit is saying you have the ability to identify a new path. There are many paths available to you from the heavens, and there is one in particular that Spirit is trying to get you to understand. Justice will be in your favor as you move forward. Spirit's going to assist you as this is a major arcana. They're going to help to cut away those things that do not serve you in your path. It's about having faith and hope in Spirit. It's about making a difficult choice. It's about financial independence. It's about wanting to climb up out of this difficult area into a beautiful path. And, it, and you're going to have to figure out that path. You're going to have to take the steps. Because we have the magician in reverse. So this person does not want to help you. They don't want to share their money with you. They only have harsh words for you because their mind is full of anger, pain, and frustration. So connect out with others regarding your creative ideas, projects, goals. And as you do, your wheel of fortune will start turning in your favor. Spirit is offering you the Ace of Wands, a new direction when it comes to creativity and or finances. So finish up where it is that you're at right now and start to set goals for the path ahead. Someone may act like they have their heart open to you, but the King of Cups is in reverse. Maybe someone was involved with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or someone who had that in their chart. And this, a lot of this was built on fantasy, hopes, prayers, wishes. Some of you were left feeling like your cup is half empty. But see, Spirit's been shining down on your back, keeping you warm the entire time when you were feeling discontent. So financially and creatively, we do have the Two of Wands. And with this particular deck, this always reminds me of a contract, a marriage, an engagement. But I don't see contentment at home. Here we go with the truth again. It's about speaking the truth. Maybe not even so much to others, but to yourself. It's about keeping an open mind as you leave these troubled waters behind. And it's about healing. Yes, an offer that some of you guys are waiting to come in just doesn't come in. But it's about, this is a lot about healing in January. And about moving in a new direction for yourself. So the word of prayer that we pulled earlier has to do with boundaries. I am clear and honest with others about my expectations. And to close, I'm going to read from the book. Since God doesn't make victims, this card asks you not to act like one in any way. 
This is a message of self-empowerment. Instead of blaming others passively, convey your expectations and true feelings to them. Stand up for yourself even if you risk conflict and confrontation. You can ask God, Jesus, and Mother Mary to guide your words so that you can maintain your boundaries from a standpoint of love instead of fear. Others will respect you for being assertive too and will re you will respect yourself more because you're treating yourself in a loving way by expressing your boundaries. So this is about standing strong in your path, knowing what it is you're going after, knowing that you don't need someone else in your path in order to become successful in the month of January. It's about getting to the truth of a situation when it comes to a connection with someone who is just not feeling the same way. Maybe at one point they did, but it's time to let those memories go because something has ended and it's ended because it was meant to. Because someone new is meant to come in. So focus on that independence, on a new financial path, on a creative path that could bring you um, the blessings of finances in a small business on the side in the evenings and weekends. Stand back and make others prove themselves to you as you move forward in your path independently for those of you who are single. If you're with someone, there may be a little bit of confusion, depression, and sadness. And again, I'm feeling like there needs to be some sort of a discussion. Uh, if there is a business you're working with, it looks like someone's very connected to someone who is very caring and loving and protective. And that's good. So speak with them about your intentions and what you want to do to succeed further. But know that at the end of the month, I see a lot of healing. I see your heart wide open to romance and to new opportunities. So if this is about letting go, it is definitely about healing and getting closure and knowing that as you move ahead, there are many blessings waiting for you in the year of 2018. So thank you again for stopping by my channel. I hope to hear from you soon. If you'd like me to pull your energies, you can email me at josiek42 at gmail.com. I will see you again probably in the middle of the month or so with a soulmate reading or love reading. Uh, but in the meantime, Happy New Year, take care, and God bless.